Hello there. This is going to be a general love reading for all signs. I know people ask how come some of my videos are off camera even though I'm home and the reality is is because sometimes I'm not camera ready and when the messages hit they hit and back in the day if you followed me that long when I used to do my readings at the apartment on the beach I first started YouTube not showing myself and only my hands in the cards and then I showed myself and then I would just record readings really late at night when it would come and just hit me and I wouldn't show myself then too but I don't know sometimes the messages will come in and hit you at 12 o'clock at night and you know we're already face washed lashes off so it doesn't matter if you can see me or you can't the messages is always going to be the same you have liberation someone freed themselves from something or someone someone here is feeling ecstatic so ecstatic they're doing splits in the air <laughs> this could also be maybe you receiving something this is good news you know you feeling happy as shit this is a feminine who is feeling on top of the world for whatever reason for whatever reason also um i think i talked about it in last night's reading at the end the information for my hawaii retreat is finally on my website saltwaterhealstarot.com and um i'm accepting deposits right now to lock in your spots or for those of you that want to pay the full thing off immediately it's a choice as well too um again you can find information for uh, for all of that on my website uh it's going to be a very very small tiny group it's not going to be like my regular you know in-person meet and greets it'll be a small tiny group for this retreat now for the hawaii residents who do not want to partake in the whole package deal right for those of you guys that um, are in Hawaii, your actual Hawaii residents, and you want to partake in something of the meet and greet, I think I will actually do one of the nights as a meet and greet. We'll go to a venue or, or whatever we do, a place, and you know we do that whole thing where we break bread, meet each other, blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I think I'm going to offer tickets for a Hawaii meet and greet, and it's going to be one of the days. Uh because I just, it's just the easiest way to work that out. So for you Hawaii residents that want to partake in at least one day of it or one of the events, um, we'll, we'll do it that way, okay? So look for tickets on sale for that. Again, that is only for Hawaii residents. Secret lover and commitment. This bitch right here. Let me say something about this bitch right here. This bitch right here feels like she's just free as a bird. She is just this butterfly flying everywhere, doing her own thing, 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 thing. Without a care in the world, honey, it's aqua season. She is detached and she is just aloof and she's just doing her thing. And all of a sudden, somehow commitment is breathing at her neck. Funny how that happens. You notice how the past couple of readings, the energy has shifted tremendously in aqua season, how a lot of the feminines have completely detached emotionally, detached from outcomes, detached from people, places, and or things. They've sort of sat back on their thrones with their sword in their hand because it's queen of swords energy, right? With aqua season. And they're remembering their worth and they're not gonna tolerate fuckery. And they just are like, say la vie, let it go. Let it be what it is. You know what I mean? Um... And then there is some sort of possibility of commitment. Again, funny how that happens. I'm like a bird, I only fly away. I don't know where my heart is. I don't know where my heart is. I'm like a bird. The emperor mm, 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 mm. somebody could be circling back you do have the eight of cups 
So there may have been a connection of a person that you guys were whatever, and then not, and then now it's a possibility. There's a possibility. The moon and two of swords. We just had the full moon yesterday, full moon in Leo. I felt that it would be like revealing, revealing a lot of shit. Uh, it would be like the curtain that's opening, okay? So however that's going to relate to you as this is a general reading. Is it that the curtain opens and there you are and you're this new emerged butterfly, you're this new version of yourself. People have to get to know you again because they're just like, oh my God, well, what, what's up? But they're so used to you just being there or waiting or trying to initiate contact or, or to see them and all of a sudden you just stop. Whatever they could not see before, if, if this emperor was blind before to something, he ain't blind no more. He ain't blind no more. If this emperor tried to play it too cool for school, he got schooled all right. Now with the wolf moon, right? That was yesterday's moon. The wolf moon. It's almost as if he's yearning and pan. You know, like how the wolves howl at the moon. It's almost this primal, instinctual, almost um, out of control sort of a feeling. Like the wolves don't try and the wolves only howl at full moons. It's like this emperor is going to start howling at the moon. Moon is typically secrets and it's it's what you don't see coming. So for many of you, if there was a secret or, or, or there was a secret in general, right? For you or them, both of you, it is revealed. And if the secret is, I have, I do love you, there's, it, it comes out. If, if it's, I, you know what, this is bullshit, I don't, and then there it is. Whatever it is, okay, it's going to be that kind of an energy. Now the moon is Pisces, right? So you have Pisces, the emperor is Aries. Um, but with the moon being so intuitive, right? The moon symbolizes intuition and the subconscious. Again, just like how the wolves just howl at the moon, full moons only. There's this thing about this emperor is going to feel this uh, gravitational pull or this want or need to howl. Again, I have to keep saying it that way. Howl at his moon, moon being a feminine. Knight of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Goes from one tiny, small little offer to the whole shebang. And this is the whole shebang, commitment. Now, the Secret Lover came out as well, too. And I kind of waited on it to see how that would play into this. And this Secret Lover is basically, for some of them, and it's been coming up like the past day or two in the cards, about this feeling of when you detach or when you cut them off or however this ends up working for you. They're wondering if you got somebody else. Who you fucking? Why are you not so easily available or accessible? Who you fucking? You got them thinking. You've got them wondering now. Now they're curious. Divine Feminine, I told you, it's all about sitting in your power. She claims her power. She calls it back to her. She says, I'm not going to put myself in any type of situation where I feel like I'm not getting what I deserve in any capacity, whether it's friendship or love and romance or family or work and business. She's taking back her power. She becomes free as a bird. She's in total uh, liberation mode, right? She's doing splits in the air. She's happier than a clam, happier than a bird with a, she's happy as a clam and happier than a bird with a french fry. Could be spontaneous commitment too. And I did feel that in last night's reading, a very spontaneous offer or offer of commitment, like, like engagement. Obviously, you don't want to just go engage, go say yes to someone that proposes to you just because you want to make sure it's the right person. But for many of you, this has the strong um, possibility of being the right person. I just woke up this morning and that was magically there. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> it's like magic. <laughs> it 
was only supposed to get the hand and then that happened. You know, it's just the way it works. Never trust them when they say it's just the tip. It's usually not just the tip. Absolutely gorgeous and stunning. Yeah, I always wanted like um, an ornamental sort of sacred geometry type of tattoo and surprise, surprise. <laughs> so that's why my hand is swollen and my forearm is swollen, so pardon. Surprise, surprise. No, I swear, it's just gonna be the tip. Connection, twin flame. Oh, it can only be a twin flame connection if both people are coming in, in a, at a high fucking vibration. See, she's a divine feminine. That means she, she's at her highest level. She's done all the inner work. She's done work on herself, right? Did all her shit, self-reflection, uh, healing past life traumas, healing current life traumas. Uh, she's done all this stuff, right? Spiritual growth. She's enlightened. And she knows her worth and she won't settle. She's the right vibration. She's a match to this coming in. But it can only happen with a person who's done the same as her. They've got to be matched vibrationally. As I said in the other reading, equally yoked. They're, they're a match. I think some of you are meeting your match. I think some of you have already met your match and when you met your match, they weren't at the right vibration. You put baby in a corner, isolation, isolated them. You, you took yourself out of the equation, cut them off, whatever. Or they feel isolated. They feel left out in the cold. Self-love. I told you it's all about self-love. She just takes back her power and, and it's not like we lost it, but sometimes we forget for a moment or two. As human nature, we are the spiritual beings in this meat suit, living this muggle life, trying to break the monotony of that, trying to break free and rip away all of the layers and shedding on top of us to get to who we are really. Right, that's part of the spiritual journey. The part, this, it's not about being in this fake facade of meditation. It's like being in this energy of just direct connection to self which then puts you into direct connection with source as within so without as above so below too right bitch just takes back her power there's a storm brewing you know what the storm brewing is romance I wanna wine you and dine you in six to nine you. Look at her, independent, free as a fucking bird. And here comes the chase. Chaser. Now yeah, they're gonna chase that ass because she's not paying them no mind. The most scrumptious thing is the thing we can't have. Masculines love the chase, they get bored. They get um, disinterested when something's just there. It's just there. As long as I just want it, it's just there. It's exciting. Gets the gets the blood pumping. They're hunter and gatherers, right? They, this primal instinct. They want to hunt. And some signs may like the hunt more than others. She's prime for that because she's like, bye. You can't catch me. I don't want to be caught. I'm, I'm living my best life. Bye. All of a sudden now it kicks in and their primal instincts start kicking in. Remember, it's like when the wolves howl at the full moon. It's this primal instinct that kicks in. All of a sudden this primal instinct kicks in. They turn into emperor, big dick energy, alpha motherfuckers. They start raising in vibration because they've got to become a match to be able to have any chance with her. And then there you have it major sexual tension i think because you have sexual encounter there is major sexual tension here how long i don't know but there is major sexual tension they are very 
very attracted to you physically physically and emotionally and spiritual sorry this deck is really hard to shuffle because the material of the cards they're just not ideal like tarot readers we know what kind of material of cards we like y'all what shuffles best especially for tarot card readers who take like flyers this is two stuck together seven of wands and the eight of wands Ooh, she blocked connection she may have been blocking communication not being not communicating as often you see how she's holding her wand up and she's blocking this <sighs> fuck around and find out fuck around and find the access denied she's harder to access she's harder to get in touch with what will they come up with well, it's got to be something to impress us. Do you know what I mean? Death. That is Scorpio. King of Wands. Kang dang a lang on it. But look at him. His, he's got that flame. And it looks like it's coming from his hand, but it's it's like right here. Like like it's, it, what, what does it remind you of? A flame. What? Death? Yep. Metamorphosis. Transformation. Big changes. They change. They transition from king to emperor. Yeah. Even kings won't stand a chance. They won't. Came out with the sun. That's fucking enlightenment, bitch absolute pure total enlightenment this masculine has had this wake-up call he's had this epiphany light bulb moment Ding! they see it now oh do they see it now they see it they get it they get it because she is now hard to get she's not theirs anymore she slipped away she is up to stuff that they have no clue about they don't know what you are doing and that is irritating the fuck out of them they need to know it all now before maybe they didn't even care maybe they didn't even care to ask what you're doing who you going with oh my god and maybe they just didn't ask and give a shit now all of a sudden they want to know everything because you're not offering up anything you're not giving them anything you're elusive you're mysterious and they're and now that their heart has sort of turned on their heart chakra has just been activated and now there's this flame this passion this burning desire right now they give a fuck now is this a fuck face that's going to keep giving you the runaround that does not ever have the potential to raise up in vibration because they don't want to raise up in vibration and they don't want to better themselves they don't think anything's wrong with them they don't want to better themselves is that this person? No. How do you know that? Because the sun is enlightenment. The emperor means he raises up, right? This, it, and, 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 and death is transformation and metamorphosis. But more importantly, I feel it. The energy. It's an energetic thing. I can feel it. Will all of them go through this transformation and rise up to meet you where you are? No. No. May the best man win. And you're going to know it's them because they are brave. They are courageous. They put time, effort, and energy. They, they do what they say. They don't just say shit, talk shit, and nothing happens. They do what they say. They do what they say. And they're going to show you without a shadow of a doubt that you're the one. Open road, new beginnings, clean slate, and journey. Yeah, it's a new journey, a new path, a new road opens up. They want a new beginning or they just want to start to have a beginning. It depends on your situation. They want to be able to have a chance. They want a chance. 
rainbow, a miracle, God's promise, and good luck. Rainbows might be a really auspicious, symbolic sign for some of you. This could be your season of luck as well, too. You have the feather. You hear the siren in the background? Archangel Michael. The feather talks about freedom, strength, and divinity. It, it, this person's energy is very protective. They just are. I feel like they're strong. They're alpha. They're masculine. When they're in that higher vibration. And they're very protective of you. They're going to be. I mean, healers need protectors. So if you fall into that category of a healer, that's the only type of person we can be with. Someone that can protect us. Not that we cannot protect ourselves, but why the fuck would we choose a partner that can't be up to par? If I'm goddess of war, you got to be god of war. Chandelier, yeah, luxury, glamour, and wealth, a lot of money. Someone here's a baller. A ball. A ball. Someone who is very financially successful. They will provide a very good life. They are a very good provider. They are. They know how to make that motherfucking money. This is the kind of person they know how to make that motherfucking money. They just do. Magician. It's a manifester. This person knows how to pull rabbits out of hats. You got to watch motherfuckers like this. Because like I said, right, it has to be something that impresses us. They got to do something to impress us. Pull out all the stops. That's what this motherfucker, they're going to pull a rabbit out that hat, bitch. They're going to pull a rabbit out that fucking hat. The emperor again. I told you. I fucking told you. The falcon rising above ability, strategy, skill, focus, a transition, change, higher self and third eye. What did I say they were going to do and how did I know it wasn't a fuck face? Yeah. 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 But let's get into this extended. Again, if you guys want to rent it, click the word more below this video. It'll bring up all the links. I believe this one will do on Patreon for all my patrons there. Hello. If you're not a, page, a, patron, a patron on Patreon, click below this video, the word more. It's going to bring up all my links. You'll see that one. Again, for those of you that want to uh, come to my Hawaii spiritual retreat, and info is on my website for those hawaii residents only be on the lookout i'll post it in my instagram stories xi underscore missy underscore xi i will be posting a link to eventbrite for you guys to purchase tickets to just one event that's going to be happening as part of the package right it'll be completely separate of course um so the price will definitely reflect that and also i'm going to be closing out personal readings as soon as i fill up but for sure next week Maybe this weekend, depending on how much come in. I have a list this long, like a CVS fucking receipt. My backlog is ridiculous. I cannot accept any more until I catch up. Um, if you're interested in booking that emergency reading, they're $300 booked typically within 48 to 72 hours. Please be aware they can get done sooner. Sometimes I can do them in the same day and sometimes it takes a little bit longer. It just depends. Okay. Trust me on this. Trust the process. Now, if you want to do my regular reading, it's 244, and that one is booked within about three weeks, okay? Recorded. Both are recorded. Um, yeah, but I'm going to be closing that out next week or as soon as I fill up. So if you're interested, you send me the money to my PayPal, which is saltwaterheelstarot at gmail.com, which is the same address as my email address. And then once you do that, you email me, okay? And you let me know if it's a particular thing you want me to know, or if it's general or whatever. I am, as always... I never do readings just to do it and you're over and it's done. I always pick and choose and feel out the energy of people's readings. And that's why sometimes they don't get done in a timely manner because you're not just, it's not a product I pick off of a shelf. 
um, we've had a lot of energy, you know, there, and I was stuck in a snowstorm too, which really affected my own energy. And then I got back home, I got to acclimate again. And, you know, I'm trying to catch up with everything. Patience is such a virtue. Um, and for those waiting on their shipments to go out, pre-orders, love you guys so much, so much, so much, so much. Um, yeah, anyways, I'll see you in the extended on Patreon. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Love you, bye.